Hello and welcome to another video. This time we're looking at, uh, basically this is just a deck I've completely uh, made pretty much from scratch. Uh, and it's based on like using Barbaric Sorceress and a bunch of high cost spells. So basically, so for instance, say you're playing the most common deck on ladder, which is Death Knight. They have loads of removal spells for like two and one mana, right? Or whatever. So all you do is just play nothing until turn six. The only thing you do have to play are some of these cards, right? You can do, you have to play your Innovates, you have to, but these are easy to play, right? The early cost cards. As long as they've got something on board, they'll put in like the Hematurge or something, right? And you can just play Rake on it. Um, and you're obviously going to play that anyway. But basically, you just keep anything five or above. And then with the Barbaric Sorceress, you're very likely to get a good trade. Um, you don't want to be like trying to, um, like, but there's other decks like where you actually might want to, uh, you know, like, um, uh, you know, like, uh, so go back and forth on the board. And for them, you can play Astro, you can play uh, Groovy Cat, you could do Innovate into Herald of Nature. Maybe you've got some uh, roots from the, um, uh, you know, from this, right? You know, um, the Living Roots, right? So different things you could do early game as well. But it, de it depends how you're looking in terms of that. Um, the uh, the Flower Child is really... This actually, for me, it's actually a replacement for Nourish. Uh, Nourish is good, but the tempo... When you don't have more than 10 mana, the, the, the tempo drop is so massive that it's actually worth playing this on 5 instead. And it's, like, very similar, right? In some ways, it's, like, it is as good as Nourish, right? Especially with uh, this in, in tow as well, right? Um, but, yeah, the ideal, the, the ideal situation, obviously, if you can get... Um, basically, if you can get either Flip of Friends... Or drum circle as like one or two. Um, you can see like you know if you get let's say you have got a drum circle as one, you can literally play this with drum circle. You have got like a bunch of you got six three fives. So you could essentially got what like eighteen thirty if you if you if you put the stats together on the board, which is ridiculous for six mana, right? So uh, that, that's like the the high roller sort of thing, but. Um, but the great thing about, especially Groovy Cat, right, is that it, you can control the board early on without much board presence, which is kind of the point of it. Uh, obviously, Rake was also very good. That came last expansion. Uh, Piper is, pu is well, it has two roles. Basically, if you haven't got Groovy Cat, it gets Groovy Cat. If you have got Groovy Cat, find something else, basically. Um, and there still is, like, there's still, like, uh, you know, like a nod to, um, you know, because the thing is that there's draw, right? Like, draw, draw. Um, you know, that's quite, quite, I guess just discover I sort of see his draw as well. Um, that's draw. This is obviously draw. So, and, and obviously Miracle Growth is also draw. So that's really um, handy. And I do like Convoke the Spirits. Like, if you, I, I do find it works more often than not, to be honest. Like, you know, there's a lot of good spells. Um, you can get a lot of hero power buffs, for instance. It's useful. You can get armor a lot. Um, I don't know, like, I'd have to look at, like, um, I feel like all the classes have basically got similar amounts of direct damage. But, you know, for instance, get Power of the Wild, that's useful if you've got a decent board. Um, most of the time, like, if I had to, like, go through the list and say, like, you know, if it's something like Wild Grove, it isn't good, but it's not bad either, right? It's not going to, it's not going to, like, mess anything up. Um, if you really look at the, like, the amount of spells there are at the moment, uh, drawing cards, you know, discover a minion or spell or whatever, that, that doesn't, it doesn't matter, right? Like 80% or 85% are good. And the ones that are bad, they could also hit the enemy board as well. So that bumps you up to like 90% good. That's the way I kind of see it. I'm sure my numbers are slightly off on that. But that's kind of like... And it's kind of how it works. And that's why it's actually useful to play it. Uh, even though, obviously, people don't necessarily... Uh, uh, you know, like the random stuff. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun to play. Uh, I've leveled up with it. And it is fun. So thanks for watching.